Hey guys, Todd back at you today with a prepping, bugging out, hiking even, uh, on a budget little quick tip. So, earlier today I was at Cabela's and they had the Colorado Parks and Wildlife folk there. And you know, I got talked to them, kind of explained to, uh, you know, that I started a YouTube channel for surviving, hiking, and just how, how overall, you know, it's good to get that information out there for people. and. You know, not everyone wants to check the Parks and Wildlife website. They'd rather watch a video. So, I went over my Altoid survival tins with, um, you know, with one of them just to kind of, you know, tell them what I was all about. And so they said, you know, here, take a couple of these and add them to your kits or whatever. And I just wanted to go over with you guys what I got. Uh, one item here isn't from the Parks and Wildlife, but I still wanted to go over it with you. Um, and just what I got and why I think they're, it's, you know, people like this that do this, the Parks and Wildlife, are a great resource when you're just getting started or when you want decent quality stuff without spending an arm and a leg. So the first thing I got is this is a Water It Colorado um, Colorado Boating Safety. It's it's called a Snugs. It's made in the USA which is awesome and uh, it just goes on your glasses uh, or your sunglasses when you're out on the lake or fishing or you know we we go on a summer trip to the lake every year and I, I wear one of those so I don't want to wear it lose a pair of Oakley's at the bottom of the lake so and that was free uh, normally they're anywhere from like two dollars to I've seen them up like some of them ten twenty dollars I'm not sure what they're putting in there to make them twenty dollars but <laughs> um, you can also make a pair uh, with like paracord they don't hold the best but it's better than nothing and maybe I'll show you guys how to do that sometime so the next thing is I got one of these little floaty containers. They're waterproof. Um, in order to get them open, you just push and then boop, pop that off. Uh, these would be great for like an emergency fire kit or maybe you put your water purification tabs in here. This can hang off of a bag. You know, you can even put money in here if you're out there for the day. Um, you know, I've been boating before and one of my friends will put his fishing hunting license combo in here and then just clip it right to his vest so he always has it on him you know during the summer when he's fishing they're just they're good um they're little pods worst case scenario you know what they're pods for organization so those uh i ended up getting three of those these are whistles now i got five of them they ended up giving me and i already put one on my get home bags i did not have a whistle on there and uh that was bothering me so <laughs> the first thing i did is put a whistle on there and actually i was going to buy one at cabela's today until I saw them setting up and I said, oh, you know, let's see, because I've seen these before. I got one similar to this when I was in Hunter Safety and it just, they just held on to these little plastic, I don't know, like loops and then the um, ball link chains and it came off my keychain. So, you know, I, I was down a whistle there, but they're pretty nice. I mean, I got four orange and a green. I mostly got the green for my key, so it's a little bit more subdued. Um, what I'm probably going to end up doing is popping this plastic piece off and threading paracord through it. Because then I don't have to worry about it. But uh, I'll blow through this here and I'll let you guys hear how loud it is. I mean, that's that's pretty decent. And now my dog's going to whine because she does not like that. It's okay, Russ. Come on. Come on. Come on. She doesn't... Sadie's fine, but Rose doesn't like loud noises. So, I got those. You know, I mean, here's the thing. These whistles, guys... You can um, get those anywhere from, you know, something like this. The rescue haulers from SOL are two for ten. I've seen something very similar to that for like five dollars, three dollars. So, you know, you save a little bit of money. Uh, obviously, if you want the best quality, you're going to have to go out and spend some money. But these are great um, even still. I mean, I've seen people use the antler whistles that you can get off like Etsy and stuff. And these are louder than that. These I've seen for... Anywhere from like two dollars a piece to five, six dollars a piece. So I mean, you're saving a little bit of money, guys. If you don't have to buy, you know, some of this stuff right away, you can maybe save up and get yourself a really nice blade, which is so key. And then this has actually made its way into my EDC rotation. It's a pen I got from my vet, which if you're in uh, Colorado at all, uh, Metro Denver, Summer Valley Vet. They're uh, yeah, they're in Colorado. I don't even know the streets, but they're they're awesome. And it's a pen down here with a replaceable ink cartridge. And then up here, it's a flashlight. Now, this one's a little wonky because I've kind of beat it up a little bit. But 
you know, it doesn't really want to stay down. But if you had to, I mean, you could put some tape on there or whatever. Uh, now, keep in mind, I always do carry my Protac 2L in my EDC. And just for a size comparison here, I mean, there. The pen's a little bit longer, the Protac's fatter. But the Protac is also blindingly bright. Where that's not so much. So, if I drop something at work, typically I use this because it's not as bright. If I'm out hiking and I want to, you know, if like I'm like stealth camping or, you know, practicing a bug out or something, I this works out really, really well. Um, you know, if you're coming up on... Like if you just need a flashlight and you don't want to carry another one, it's great. Um, I've used it before when I've been out camping with friends and I've been coming up on the camp and just doing this. Just because it's not as bright. But that way they know like it's me and not a bear. <laughs> um, so, you know, but these are good. It was free. And sometimes, guys, free is the best. Uh, you know, you don't have to spend money, a million dollars to get started here. Small, Starting small is okay. You guys saw that video I did, I hope, um, on the plastic Plano kit. Starting small is okay. You, everyone has to start somewhere, and I understand that everyone's financial, you know, situation is different, and that is okay as long as we're starting someplace. So, what I'm going to do uh, here, guys, is uh, if you have any questions, certainly post below. Um, if you have any any comments or anything else, or anything else you guys have maybe gotten for for free, a lot of times like home shows and stuff will have cool stuff like this too. Or if you go to like boating shows. Even if you just want to look at some cool boats, if you're not that avid of a boater, you can get sometimes, you know, you pay five bucks to get in, you can walk away with thirty, forty dollars worth of free stuff sometimes. You know, it's honestly it's fantastic. So go ahead and post below if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, whatever. Uh, let me know and I'll certainly try to get back to you. Until then, look out for my new video and stay outside, enjoy the outdoors, and be safe guys.